Hi guys, and welcome to The Couch Crocheter, episode 15, Halls, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, BB's Toy Store, and Scrapbook.com. Hi guys, and welcome to episode 15 of The Couch Crocheter. I just wanted to go over some few things that I purchased this week for um, headquarters. First, I stopped at um, Hobby Lobby. And I wanted to show you some things that I got on there. I did find that they were having some stuff on the um, the orange sticker reduced price. So I just wanted to show you some few things that I picked up um, while I was there. The first thing is this little tiny book. And it says, um, yarn is a lifestyle. Now the reason I picked this out is because um, each individual page, and I'm hoping you can see this, each individual page has like two spots where you can um, track your progress of every detail about that specific um, project, which I just thought was amazing because this will definitely help me be organized. It'll help me with you guys when I'm like, um, you know, trying to figure out what I used for who and for which video and what needle and which yarn and the weight of it and and all that good stuff. And if I do end up um, selling something and I still have the picture that I have in, um, I have like a photo album with a picture of everything that I've made, then I can always go back and like number the pictures now going forth and go back and reference exactly which pattern it was because I don't have that part of it quite organized. Um, this way I can look up, okay, you know, I did the rock and roll shawl from Bag O'Day and I used this weight and this was the colorway and this is how many yards I needed and this is the, um, you know, needle and any any additional instructions like, a, you know, added 10 to it to make it bigger or, you know, whatever. So I thought this was amazing. I ended up getting three of these. Um, my Yarny sister stopped by today, Angel, and I ended up gifting her one of these because I thought it was such a great find. Um, I know it's going to help me be a little bit more organized and help me, um, with you guys and not have to stare at the wall all the time. So that was item number one. So this little guy, I just thought he was too cute and he was also unreduced. Actually, everything I'm just going to show you was unreduced except for two things. Um, I thought I could definitely use him here at headquarters because the balls are constantly rolling across the floor whenever I'm working on something that I need a scrap for. Um, or I can take him home and use him for my scraptastic blanket because this is about the size of the balls that I want to use for that blanket. Nothing more because then it's going to be like really big chunky and then a little bit. I kind of want it not, you know, five rows for each thing. Like I'm not doing that. I'm kind of letting it flow and fall where it will. But if it's too big of a ball, I do end up cutting it and then not using that color again because again, I don't want you know, one chunk to be, you know, seven inches big and the next chunk is only two. Like I do want it to be fairly, fairly flow. So I got him and I just think he's adorable. And then this, I cannot wait to bust open and see actually what's inside of here. I've never seen anything like this. I think, oh, there might not be anything in there. Well, let's open it up. It says it's a needle, a wood needle storage tube, but each tube let's see here Ugh. and this is another thing that i think it's going to come in handy because i'm constantly losing my sewing needles maybe that's why my ends are never uh sewn in <laughs> okay so there are no needles in there <clears throat> this one says ccs needles which i don't even know what those are so there's a lot that i have to learn i think but anywho, I thought that the, these cases were really good. Because like I said, I'm constantly losing my finishing needles. This one says Chanel needles. This one says tapestry needles, which I know what those are. Embroidery needles, which are really small ones. I know what those are. And darning needles, and I know what those are. So Chanel needles and CCS needles, I guess I have to research and figure out what those are. But I think regardless of what they say, I'm just going to stick um, a couple of finishing needles in each one of these tubes and plant them in random places because I'm constantly, constantly, constantly losing that little tiny needle. 
So I thought that was uh, really cool. And that, again, was on the reduced uh, sticker price. So then I picked up a pair of socks because I love socks. <laughs> and this one says, do not ask about the stash. <laughs> so I am going to keep these here at headquarters as well in case my feetsies ever get chilly. I will have these up there to, to wear. Well, up here. Up there as if I'm not here. Up here um, to wear. And then I did need a measuring tape of some sort because right now on my um, whiteboard behind the camera right now, there is <laughs> a tape measure on a piece of paper that I got when I got the whiteboard. I guess they wanted it there so you can, you know, measure from this wall to this wall to see if you're center. I do use that, but it's not very nice and it's not very classy and it's just a piece of paper and sometimes it gets on my nerve. So I saw this guy and I'm like, oh yes, please. I definitely need you and you're adorable. It's a llama. <laughs> and it's a measuring tape. On this side it has inches. And then on this side it has centimeters. <laughs> I think he's adorable. He has a little crooked neck as you see, but he's all right. I don't mind I'm a little crooked neck. It still measures the same. And I love how it like stops like right at like one inch. Like you know you're at one inch. Or you know you're at the top of it. So I thought he was adorable. And I definitely needed one. So I picked him up. And I'm going to put him exactly where he is going to live. He was right there next to my pens. So then I saw these. And these are enamel pins. And I'm constantly looking for a pin for some of my shawls that I do wear. Even my um, sweater that I made, the uh, Party Cardi from, um, hold on, The Secret Yarnery, Krista from The Secret Yarnery. She made um, a Party Cardi, and I did make one for myself, and it is made out of latte cakes. And that's a whole other video um, that I'll have to share with you, because that's another oopsie um, crochet project. But um, I am constantly looking for something to pin it, like right in the middle um, so I found these and again, they were on super sale. One of them says I heart yarn with a sheep on it. The other one's a hot air balloon with a llama in it. And it says the yarn life and then a basket with scrap balls. And it says yarn enthusiast. I did end up getting two packs of those. Um, so the next two items that I bought, I thought I could use another keychain. Oh, I didn't realize the difference. Well, I guess one I'll have to give away. Oh, well. Or I'll just hang one in here, even though I don't knit. I did not under I did not um, check this out. Anywho, so one is a rainbow ball of of yarn, and this is a keychain holder, um, and it does have a crochet hook. The other one that I did not realize, and I guess I should have looked closer, does have two needles. Now I don't knit, so this might you know for a friend who um, knits, but this one I thought I can definitely put that on my keychain. I have nothing um, fancy on my keychain right now. It's just keys. And I am used to having some kind of decorative keychain on there, but I just haven't found one that I liked until I went to Hobby Lobby and found this one for 99 cents. So this one's going to be gifted to a knitter because I don't knit. Um, and this one I will keep. So then um, I went into the button aisle just to see if they had any um, reduced stickers uh, on the buttons. Um, I did not find any reduced buttons, but I did find, and it's not even aisle, it's just a little stand at my Hobby Lobby, like one of those things that are like rotating and you just push it around and they're all, you know, on there. Um, but I thought that this would go great with a project that I just finished and that I did need buttons for. Um, this is um, for February's towel topper for um, Pamela's Adoring Crochet that I'm doing. She's doing the towel topper. I'm adding in an extra bonus and doing a hot pad to match each month's towel topper. So I did need something for February. Um, so I figured that this would be perfect. So these were not on sale. I did pay $2.29 per thingy and that's okay because I think they're adorable and I definitely needed them to complete February's towel topper. Then two other things that I'd gotten on sale, and these were reduced to $1.07 and they were originally $3.99. Now I do not have a project in mind for this, but I thought once again it was perfect um, for something in the future. It's just three little silver um, woven looking buttons. And 
And then these I found, and I thought there was two packs of these. But I could be wrong. I guess I only got one pack. I swear to gosh, I got two, though. Oh, no, no, it was two of these. Okay, I'm wrong. So I got these, and they're wooden stitch markers. Now, they are labeled 1 through 10. And I imagine that this would be um, your row count, maybe. But what I'm going to do as well is um, I'm going to use these because I don't have any stitch markers. But I think on the backs of them, because it only has... Um, uh, like a burning on one, um, one side of the triangle. I think on the back, I'm going to put the um, size hook that I'm also using. And I'm just not going to mind the number on the back because I don't want to bust anything out. And I don't imagine that these are the hook size already because, you know, they don't come in like one, twos, threes, fours, five, six. They come in like, you know, 5.25 millimeter, 5.5 millimeter, 5.75 millimeter. So I'm not sure where they were actually going with this, but because they were only 99 cents, I figured I'm a creative girl. I can make these work for something that I want them to say. So I did get one of those. So I can actually start using stitch markers instead of paper clips. I'm moving on up, guys. <laughs> and then these were also on sale. These are originally $4.29 and I got it for $1.07. And I've never used these before. But again, I figured, why not? They're on sale. Something new. They are, and I got two of them, um, labels for when you, you know, you home make your stuff and um, home, homemade your stuff. And you can put these labels on here. The first, little one says original. The middle one says um, handmade. And then the bottom bigger one says with love. And I did get um, two packs of those. Which again, I've never used these kind of labels, but... You know, why not? I'll step up my game a little bit. So now these next two items, um, Honey picked out because he was with me and he knows that, uh, you know, I love purple. And he kind of went off in his own little um, yarn um, thingy because he wanted to see first if they had any um, orange stickers on uh, yarn because, you know, who doesn't love a good sale? So he was going through everything and was looking for the orange stickers um, for any any of the yarn and he saw this and he thought I loved it because it looked like it was tie-dyed and I don't know if you guys noticed but I'm a little bit of a hippie with my tie-dyes and my peace stuff and um, you know I love music festivals so it, you know I'm, I'm just a hippie so um, he thought that this looked tie-dye and it wasn't my favorite color which is purple it's gonna be yarn bees soft and sleek uh, it is low pill fiber. It's 186 yards. Uh, it is made by Hobby Lobby, made in Turkey. Uh, recommended needle size is an eight or five millimeter. Recommended hook size is going to be a six millimeter or a J or a 10. And I did pay the full price for this, even though I know that next week now, since it wasn't this week, Hobby Lobby is going to have most of their yarns on sale, I think, for 30% off they do every other week. Um, I did not wait. I wanted to get them right now. He picked them out. He put them in the basket and said, these are gorgeous and they're just for you. And I said, okay, I love you. <laughs> um, so I guess this is my gift from Honey uh, while we were at Hobby Lobby. And then the next thing, I'm thinking I'm not going to include in um, my towel topper um, thingy because I'm not sure that everybody who might look at them or might buy them or might be interested in them is going to be a yarn enthusiast. Um, so I don't think I'm going to add these in with my towel toppers for each month. I think I just purchased them um, for maybe around the house or for maybe here or maybe just to hang up. Um, they do did come with Two of them. Oh, no, one of them. One really long one. So it is one really long, um, it's called flower sack towel. Um, it says yarnologist is a noun and it's optimist at heart who turns yarn into art. And I love that they have the little fringes down here at the bottom. I think that's super, super cute. Um, so I think I'm going to save these for my house and or here. Maybe I'll hang some up on the rack that um, Honey found downstairs for me and bought for me, which will be in the next video um, of stuff that, um, you know, that I purchased for headquarters. So I ended up getting four of those. 
Um, and they were originally $4.99 and I got them for $1.24. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. So next I'd ended up um, getting um, some Notion pouches. Now these ones are cute as hell. And these ones I just figured I would um, donate them to someone who I know um, is going to get a great use out of these. It says it does organize anything in the front. In the, the, no, it doesn't. It just does. Okay, so here's one. And its original price was $3.49. And I got it for 80, 87 cents. And then I got two of those that match. So they're just Notion pouches or makeup bags or whatever. You know, I know someone who's going to get those donated to. And this one I got, it's called um, Alpaca My Bag. <laughs> And this one's much more um, squishier and it has like this nice little tassel. This one was originally $7.99 and I paid $1.99 for it. This one is very, very squishy. Oh, that's why. No, it's still squishy. It does have this foam piece inside, which does add to the squishiness, but this is still like padded and double layered. Very nice. So I think of another person who is going to get this as a donation. And this one... <laughs> I don't know if I have the heart to give this one away because I do love it, but I am going to because it is for a good cause. Um, <laughs> you can't rush perfection. Look how flippin' cute that little sloth is just hanging out on the tree. <laughs> and then it's got this pink little tassel, which again, I think is adorable. And I know who's, who's getting this. I just have to send them out. <clears throat> so next is going to be um, this pack, and I do believe it has the same cards throughout. It is a 12 pack of um, blank cards inside with uh, two llamas on them. And now, call me crazy and weird, but don't they match pretty good? <laughs> I think there's a theme going on here. <laughs> um, so those I picked up, they were originally $2.99. I paid 74 cents for them. I figured I would definitely use them um, in the future. And this, um, I had made for Christmas. Um, I took a little, and I know that there's a pattern out there, and I should have looked this up before this video, and I'm sorry that I don't um, know who did it, but I will share a link down below of the person that I got the pattern from. It was a Christmas decoration that was a gnome, and um, it had a little pom-pom down at the bottom, and then you made his little hat, and then you super glued, not super glue, hot glued the hat on top of the pom-pom and then put a little hook through the top of his hat and it was like a Christmas tree decoration. Well, my dad um, had asked me to make um, one for her and she um, went out and I was like, listen, like I tried to make pom-poms, you know, I wound it all up and tied it really tight and I did exactly. I followed like three different tutorials they fell apart as soon as I breathed. Like I cut them and they just went poof everywhere. And then I had like a million pieces of little tiny yarn that I wasted because I can't figure out how to make the pom pom tight enough without them coming apart. So I had asked her then to order them because I was giving up on making the pom pom. So she did order them and I did finish them, but then I saw this and I was like, well, maybe this is what I need and maybe this will help me make my pom-poms. It's a red heart pom-pom and tassel maker. Now, honestly, these directions look pretty easy. You just go around the pegs and around and around and around and around and around, and then you tie it off and you cut it and poof, there's the pom-pom. I'm hoping that this solves my um, pom-pom strings of uh, yarn everywhere dilemma. And again, this was on sale. Originally, they said it was $14.99. I paid $3.74 for it. So I'm kind of excited to bust this out and see if it actually works for me. Um, if I can actually make pom-poms without them falling apart, which would be really nice. So the next thing, I thought this was too cute. I just couldn't say no, especially for the price. Um, and I will definitely use one of these in the future. And then I think another one I might um, keep aside for a gift. Um, so this is a alpaca teapot and cup set. And I don't know if you can see, but oh, there we go. There's a better picture. So the the cup is on top and then the teapot is his body 
then it was originally $11.99 and I paid $2.99 for it. Um, again, I just think it's absolutely adorable. Um, so I did end up getting two of those of the same thing. Um, a, pa a pack, wow, alpaca teapot and cup set. So I've gotten two of those. Let me put this stuff back so it's not cluttering up my space. So then let's move on to um, this guy. I ended up getting this guy, and he was on sale too, and I don't know his original price. Oh, $5.99. And I paid $1.49. It says, no skeins, no gain. And his his yarn has three pounds of it that he's lifting his weights for. I don't know if you see right there, it says three pounds. He's cute as heck. No skein, no gain. So I thought, yes, I definitely reuse water bottles. Um, I will definitely use it. And for $1.49, he's too cute, and I couldn't say no. So I got one of him. And then I got this guy, who I'm already using because I just couldn't wait, and I was really thirsty, and I needed something to put it in because all I have is a coffee cup up here. And this one says, rise and skein with a rainbow on it. And as you can see, this will definitely come in use. Because I love my cold beverages and I got my refrigerator with ice cubes in it so I can put them in my drinks and water my plant. Which I looked up that money tree on YouTube the other, not YouTube, um, Google the other day. The plant that I got for a house, um, sorry, not housewarming, um, headquarters warming gift. Um, someone had got me that money tree plant. That thing, from what I understand, and I need to repot it just to see how big it's going to grow within the new pot um grows to be like a seven foot tree so if i keep repotting it and replanting it and giving it all this love i guess i'll have to use more ice cubes than just two i don't know i'm gonna repot him and see how big he gets but i googled it and i couldn't believe like some of the pictures that i was seeing like they were like six seven feet tall i don't know if i'm gonna let him get that big he might take over my headquarters but um i love it and I can't wait to see what it becomes. Okay, next is going to be, oh, I thought this was a great find. A great, great find. And what a great idea. It's called the Yarn It. It's easy feed, non-slip, to go, uh, yarn ball. I don't know how to explain it. Crystal clear globe yarn channel that allows you to feed yarn smoothly from either the globe top or side with even tension and no tangling. It has a daisy hole that holds needles to protect points and keeps stitches secure. Huh? That's what that is. Non-slip base, so it does have a base at the bottom. So this is not one where you're like, you know, your yarn's gonna roll roll all over the floor within this plastic ball. It does have a stand for it to sit on. And a shoulder strap loops through the globe top and adjusts for comfort. Hands-free transport. So you can just strap this onto your body, put your yarn in there and go, go, go. A protective and portable home for yarn and accessories. I thought I got to figure him out. He was originally $39.99 and I got it for $9.99. So I thought I will definitely try that out because there are constantly yarn balls running around the floor everywhere all the time. Because <laughs> what happens is once I start a skein or a cake or whatever, and if I don't finish it, obviously, in scraps, they go in balls. And then sometimes, like, halfway through the project, I'm like, okay, this is going to, like, collapse, and it's just going to be one big knot in a little while. I'll stop, cut it, and then start from the outside, because normally I do pull from the inside with my yarn. Then I'll start on the outside, and then just let it flip all around while I'm winding it into the ball. Because there's nothing like when you're working, and you're into it, and you're concentrating, and you're like, check me out, I'm getting this done, and I'm making progress. And then you pull up, and you know, you pull up your yarn to get more, and there's just this yarn puke, or like this big knot, and you have to stop. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't have patience for that. Like, I just want to keep on going. I want this creative 
flow juices should be flowing. So I'm kind of excited to use this because then I can just take it, winds it up in a ball before I even stop, before I even start, and just put it in here. So I'm excited for that too. Okay, so next is going to be this little tiny wall hanging. And I figured, and I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to hang it above the cotton over there in the corner. And it says crochet friends are the best of friends. And originally it was $9.99 and I got it for $2.49. So I thought, yes, please, more decorations for headquarters. And it was on super cheap, cheap, cheap um, sale, so why not? Then I got this one, and I do love this one. This one I think I love more than the other one. Let me just take off the price tag because it's not it's really ugly. There we go. So this one is, it's a good day for yarn, and then it has a rainbow at the top. Now, originally this one was $14.99, and I paid $3.47 for it. So I think both of these are going to go right above the cotton over here in this corner, um, up on the wall there for you all to see, and then I can see it while I'm sitting on the couch watching you guys and crocheting my little heart out. So I thought, again, how cute. It was cheap enough. I definitely use it for headquarters to give me a little bit more inspiration. So I picked that up. Okay, the next thing and the last three things from this Hobby Lobby haul. One is going to be this t-shirt that I'm wearing. It does say Yarnologist. Um, I did get it on sale. I don't remember how much it originally cost. It might have been like these other ones that I'm looking at because I did already take the tag off. Um, I think it was originally $14.99 and I think I paid $3.99 for this one. So it just says Yarnologist with this hieroglyphic. I don't, it's not hieroglyphic. I don't even know what this stuff is called. The shiny rainbow stuff. <laughs> and then the second t-shirt that I bought that was on sale and I'll back up for this one just so you can see it. Um, is this cute little llama. I mean, how adorable is he? She. I'm going to call this one a she. And she's got, like, flowers and uh, balls of yarn as her um, tiara, which I thought was adorable. Nice neutral color. Nothing too bright. Nothing too wooby hooby. Extra large. Got it on sale. Yes, please. And this one I paid $3.99 for. And this one was originally $15.99. And then the last thing that I got from Hobby Halabi um, is this shirt. And this one's really, really soft. And this one is a little see-through, so I'm probably going to have to wear a cami underneath it um, or something. Um, hashtag Yarn Life. And this one was originally $14.99, and I paid $3.74. No, $3 so there's that one. Hashtag Yarn Life. Okay, guys. So then um, I did mention last week um, that I did order Beanie Babies that were supposed to come into the mail um, that I ordered from a toy company. Well, they did finally come in the mail. And it is from the toy company. was called BBToyStore.com. I do have the invoice here. So I picked up, and I know that they are Beanie Babies. And I picked up the babies for a reason. I figured everybody else that I saw that was doing loveys was doing like full size loveys with like full size beanies. And that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But I just wanted to be a little bit different. And I do like smaller things. I think they are a little more cute. Not that big things aren't cute. But smaller things I think are, they just tickle me a little bit more. So um, I ended up getting a mixed lot of 25 Beanie Babies, um, all different. And the price of them was $60, um, $59.95. It was free shipping. Um, I did get a coupon code that I could use for my next purchase. Um, it did not take too long to come in at all, I didn't think. Actually, I even forgot um, what day they were supposed to come in. And then I looked. And it actually came, I think, a day earlier than um, was anticipated. Um, so I'm just going to go over and just show you the Beanie Babies that I got. Here's the Rhino. Oh, you know what it has on his hiney. And his name is Spike. 
Now I do have the box right here on the floor that they came in that I'm just gonna toss them back into. And here's a horse and his name is Derby. <laughs> here's a little otter and he's called Slippery. Wait, I don't think he's an otter. I think he might be a dolphin. Is Slippery a dolphin? Does it even tell you? Oh, he's a seal. Like, how can I not know that he was a seal? I mean, look at him. He looks like a seal. But he's cute. Then I got a parakeet, and his name is Jabber. And then this one's a koala bear. And his name is Mel. <laughs> a regular, like, a uh, bear, like maybe a grizzly. And his name is Bruno. And they got this owl with a class cap on him. It says class of 98, which this is probably going to be a harder sell because it's such a specific year. But that's okay. And his name is Wise. Well, Wise is an owl. Makes sense. But he's so cute. <laughs> <clears throat> and then here's another koala, and I think his name is Mel. Yep, so I got two koalas. Here is um like a grizzly bear. Roar. And his name is Pecan, which I can see understand why. He is the color of pecans. <laughs> here's a pink rainbowy chicken. And his name is Doodle. Look at his little thingy up here. I mean, that's just too cute. And here's a moose with bright orange uh, antlers. And his name is Chocolate. And here is, I believe it's a dog. His name's Butch. My gosh, he's so cute. And then we here have a red dog, kind of like Clifford, but his name's Rover. And here we have a beaver, which I think he's too cute. His name is Bucky. And I think this might be a penguin puffer. Doesn't say what puffer is. I think it's a penguin. And then I got another penguin. This one's more of like the em em imperial or emperor emperor penguins, I think. His name is Waddle. Waddle, 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 Waddle. I can see that. <laughs> this guy, I think he's a stork. His name's Stills. I think he might be a stork. Yes, stork. It brings babies to the parents. And then this guy, he's a rabbit. I don't know, this guy looks a little mean. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him to make him a little less mean looking. But to me, I don't know why, he just looks like he's mean. Like, did you see that one rabbit movie? Gosh, I forget what it was called. Down Under, maybe? I don't know. I, it might have been on Disney+. Plus. Might even have been Netflix. But it was about, like, this group of rabbits. And one of them is, like, like the head guy of, like, the bad rabbits. Um, he kind of reminds me of him, but not gray. But his facial expression reminds me of that head of the bad rabbits. I think it was called Down Under. I could be wrong, though. Anywho, his face reminds me of from that. And his name is just Rabbit. Like, just Rabbit. And then this guy. I don't know how I'm going to make this guy into a lovey. <laughs> but I'll figure it out. His name's Gucci. <laughs> I still think he's cute as heck. <laughs> I might keep him, though. 
And this one is a like tie dye -dy, um polar bear, and his name is Sammy. And then here is uh, a walrus, and his name is Jolly. I think he's a walrus. It doesn't say, but his name's Jolly. <laughs> And this one, I don't even know. He's too cute. He's an ostrich. <laughs> and his name's Stretch. And then this very classic bear. And this one actually has like bear-like feeling textured. I don't know if it's picking up on camera at all. But it actually feels like one of those um, old-time bears where the arms used to move. Um... And I don't know what they're, Boyd Bears maybe they're called? Boyd, might be Boyd Bears. Um, but that's what it reminds me of. And his name, oh, is Curly. That makes sense because he's supposed to have like mocking of the curly hair. But I think he's just precious. And all of his old time look and glory. And then there's this one, which is a um, Pelican. I think they're called Pelican. Yeah, Pelican. And his name is Scoop. And then here's my favorite, and I saved him for last, and you guys will already know why. Um, and I don't think I'm going to do anything with him, but put him on the shelf. We'll put her on the shelf. This one's a her. I'm going to put her on the shelf and admire her every day. I don't think I'm going to make a lovey out of this one. This one has a special button. It says a exclusive club. And her name is Chubby, no, Clubby 5. No, Clubby 4. Clubby 4. Then he's purple, and she's got blue, and she's sparkly. So I think I'm not going to make a lovey out of him, and I think her, sorry, her. And I think I'm just going to sit her on my shelf to look pretty. Because it's purple, and it's sparkly, and I like it. So that's all of the Beanie Baby haul from BB Toy Store and um, Hobby Lobby, mostly orange sticker clearance haul. Alrighty guys, I'm back. Next is going to be a small Michaels haul. So I have a friend who asked me if I could do for Christmas um, Yip Yips um, like stockings. I did find a pattern online that I know that I can follow. I read through it. Um, so I did print it out for Yip Yips. Now, I don't know if you remember Yip Yips, but they're from Sesame Street. And if I remember, I'll insert a picture here of what they're supposed to look like. So she told me that she wanted them, and after I read the pattern, I realized that I needed a thicker weight yarn that I did not have in the colors that she requested. So uh, I was on michaels.com, and I was looking, and I found these, and I thought, okay, they're cheap enough. They have enough yardage. I'm going to get it and see what she thinks. And she um, actually ended up liking them. Um, so I'm going to go forth with the three yip yips um, that I was commissioned and asked to do. So the first one I got was the um, Bar Barnett Velvet. Sorry, this looks a mess. So it's the Barnett Velvet. And each one of these is 2.5 ounces, 315 yards, which it only said I needed 220 for the pattern. So I figured I'm gonna have a little bit extra um, left over. This color is called Navy Marine or Merino. Uh, it is a bulky number five. It does ask for 6.5 millimeter crochet or um, needles. I'm sorry. Um, 6.5 millimeter needles, which is also a US 10 and a half or 6.5 US 10 and a half or K um, crochet hook. It is. Care instructions on reverse side of label. Free patterns. It is made in China. And it is 100% polyester. So that was the first color because she did want um, blue um, for a yip yip. And then the second one that she requested was like either a green or a teal. So then I found this one, Barnett Velvet. Same spec, same everything, just in the color of Pagoda. Which I don't know why green would be Pagoda. I would think it would be red. 
Like a Chinese pagoda, aren't they like red and gold usually? I don't know. But it says pagoda. So that's very tealy, very green. And then the last one that she wanted was purple. <laughs> and this was a hard, and again, it's a mess and I'm sorry. But this was the best looking one that they had at my Michaels. And this one is called Majestic Purple. So sometime soon, um, you're going to see um, either started or finished uh, Yip Yip. So those are the three that I was um, asked to, to get. So then while I was at Michael's, you know, I just couldn't get these three. So while I was there, I was looking down the same aisle and I fell in love with this color. It screamed at me. Like stopped me in my tracks. Holy flipper flap. This is beautiful. I want to touch it and I want it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I love it. And it is called Rainbow. Our original. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. It is a Caron Skinny Cake. So the Caron Skinny Cakes are a lightweight number three, which I don't mind. Um, even though four is my favorite, I said I could make exceptions for threes. And Caron is definitely um, one of them. Uh, this is recommended needle size is a four millimeter or a U.S. number six. Recommended hook size is a U.S. G, also known as a six or four millimeter. This is machine washable and dryable. It is 100% acrylic with 795 yards, 8.8 .8 ounces or 250 grams. It is made in India. Look, those colors. I mean, hello. Yes, please. Mm, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And the second one that also um, shouted out to me, which is kind of funny because um, Honey went down the aisle first. Um, then, you know, he, he always goes ahead of me to see if he can find um, sales. And he can be like, baby, look what I found, which I love him for. And I love him. Um, so we, I walked down the aisle first and then he walked down and I had already put this in my cart. So then when I met up with him in that same aisle, he picked this out and was like, oh my gosh, honey, did you see this one? And I said, yes, I did. And I put it in my cart already. <laughs> now you have to know that green is his favorite color and purple is my favorite color. Which is why I think we are both drawn to this one because this has both of us written all over it. <laughs> <clears throat> and this is another um, skinny cake, so I'm not going to go over the specs with you, but just know that this one is called Raspberry Ganache. I mean, holy guys, come on. Look at that. Seriously? I cannot wait. Cannot wait. So then he, when he went ahead of me, he actually came back before I even said that I put that in my cart and he's like, isn't this cute? Blah, blah, blah. Um, he came back with this. Now this one is a Caron baby cake. Um, and this color is lavender. And I'll go over the specs with you real quick. That is a medium number four recommended needle size is a 5.5 millimeter, also known as a US eight. A hook size is going to be um, an H or an 8, 5.5 um, millimeter. This is 82% 82 per, 82 acrylic and 18% nylon. It does have 560 yards, also known as, they don't have the gram inch. Oh, right there, good. 240 grams or 8.5 ounces. This is out of their Soft Summer Stripes collection. That's what it says right there. I don't know what that means, but that's what it says right there. But he picked it out because it was purple. And I said, oh, yes, please. <laughs> Boy, this is really, really soft compared to, like, the regular Caron cakes. Not that they're not already soft, because I believe that Caron cakes are already very soft, but this baby one, that's definitely soft. 
No wool. Limited time only. Love it. Oh, how do you wash it? Machine washable and dryable. And it is made in China. Loving it. So then, uh, right next to the Karen stuff, because that's in the section that we were in, big surprise, I found this beautiful big cake. And I do love my big cakes. And I love my purple. And this one is called Grape Jelly. Now this one's Specs Art. It is a four weight medium. Uh, needle size is gonna be a five millimeter or US eight. Uh, hook size is going to be the same, 5 millimeter or an H or an 8, machine washable and dryable, 603 yards being 10.5 ounces or 300 grams. And this one is made in China. But I love the purple, so I picked it up. And then the last thing that I got at Michael's, and again, I couldn't say no to this one, and I don't know why this one screamed out my name, but it did, and I usually don't like pastels, but I like it. And this one's also a big cake, so I'm not going to read the specs again. I'm just going to tell you that it is called Boysenberry. Not a pastel -y person, not a yellowy person, not a pink person, not a mint green person, but I love it. It shouted out my name. So guys, I just have one more thing. Oh, it's all the way over here. Sorry. I have one more thing to share with you. And the last video I said that I'd also was waiting on buttons to come in that I had ordered for my towel toppers. Well, they did come in. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this box. Now, I didn't even look in this box yet. I know what I ordered. Oh, that's cute. Comes in its own little sack. And where was this from? This was from, oh, it's probably on the receipt. Let's get out the receipt. <clears throat> Scrapbook.com, and they are located in Arizona. So for each one of these embellishments, those are called Buttons Galore Embellishments. I don't think I paid more than $2.19 per pack of these buttons. So here I got Halloween ones, and they have little frogs. And let me see, make sure you can see each, each and every one. Oh, you can't really see the witch. I don't know. It's got hats in it, a wish, an apple, a candy apple, a cauldron. So these ones are going to be for my Halloween ones for um, October. And then I got these cookie baking ones. And this one's called um, the Christmas Collection Holiday Baking. This has little gingerbread, little cutting board, rolling pin, oven mitt. And again, I think each one of these was $2.19 per pack. And then this one is for um, Christmas. I'm trying to put it so you can see like everything that's in there. Oh, well. This one's called Christmas Collection Snow Day. So there's little snowballs. It says let it snow, a little sign, and some snowflakes. And then the next one I got was for 4th of July. This one's called Red and White Blue Collection Stars and Stripes. And the next one is going to be Flower Power. I think I got that one more for June. And then this one's going to be, and this one I love, it's called Red, White, and Blue Collection from Backyard Barbecue. Huh. 
And that's what I think I'm going to do for August. I think I'm going to do a barbecue theme one for August. It has a hot dog, a hamburger, a little spatula, a grill, an apron, a strawberry, a pint of beer. <laughs> Too cute. Backyard barbecue. And then the next one. Let me get in the bag here. And this is what I originally went on this website to find because um, I couldn't find any at my local craft store. And I just thought for the price that I was paying for two buttons, even though I already did pay this price of what? Two. Whoops, it just fell. Um, what did I pay for the? Oh, yeah, $2.29 for two buttons at Hobby Lobby. When I can pay $2.19 for like what? 10 buttons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 buttons, better deal. And I don't think I paid anything. No, I didn't, I already told you, I did not pay anything. Did I pay anything for the shipping? I don't know, it doesn't have a price in, invoice on here. I couldn't have paid too much for the shipping though, for me to think that $2.19 was a great deal. Um, but these ones are Hobby Lobby, $2.29 a piece. I only get two buttons. These ones are much better deal. So this is the one that I originally wanted to go on and find um, for St. Patty's Day, which is St. Patty's Day Collection Glitter Shamrocks. And then the last one I'd gotten for my Easter ones. And then two, four, six, eight, two, four, six. Okay, so this one comes with eight. So eight to 10 buttons. Which again, for two nineteen dollars is not a bad deal, I don't feel. And I love the packaging. And I think that this is an independent crafter who puts these together. Only because these do look like they are um, hand-printed labels. I could be wrong. Um, anywho, this one's just called the Easter Collection Egg Hunt. So that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Oh, thanks to my new subscribers that have hopped on board. I couldn't help but notice within the last two weeks, I've really jumped in subscribers. So I must be hot item right now, <laughs> which I don't know why you guys watch me talk to myself and talk to you guys. I guess the same reason why I watch you guys talk to yourself and talk to us. <laughs> Um, anywho, thanks for stopping by guys. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.